Hello everyone! So today is a very special day for me because I finally got my Grail Evangeline Gasly doll. I know I don't post about them that much, but it was actually one of my favorite doll lines because I just think she is so beautifully made. She has inset eyes, applied lashes, her hair is nice quality. But what made me fall in love with her is her Victorian Gothic style. I love everything goth, so of course I gravitated to her. Now this is a doll I've been pining after ever since the convention, which I believe was in 2015. So it only took me two years to get her. <laughs> There's only 100 of her, so I never thought I would be one of those lucky 100 people. But here she is. So let's get to the good stuff and take her out of the box. Here is Evangeline out of her box wearing her hat slash head accessory because it's not really a hat. It's just a flat circular thing with a lot of feathers on top, which to be honest, I'm not a fan of. I'm not really into feathers. And then it has this little pin on the inside that you just stick into her hair. Not a fan of that either. Um, I do like the veil though. It's just a uh, simple black mesh with this sort of teardrop pattern on it. I thought that was quite nice. But um, yeah, I don't plan on keeping this part of her outfit. Her shoes were actually very plain black heels, nothing spectacular, which is fine because they are mostly going to be hidden behind her dress anyway. Um, her dress I thought was actually very beautiful, one of the prettiest ones that I've seen on her so far. What I liked about it is this um, layer of floral lace that she wears on top of her regular sort of satiny. Uh, dress. She also has this black and white uh, two-layer collar which another thing that I was not a fan of only because it sticks up this way and kind of like covers her neck and I think it would be better if it was down and then she could wear some very nice jewelry and then she has a sequin vest with this detail on her sleeve that kind of sticks out. I thought that was pretty cool actually. I like that um, part of her outfit and then her dress has a cape on the back here we go so it's just a big black rose uh, black bow underneath and then a long black cape I thought this was such a nice design honestly and I do like that and then here we see the back of her sequin vest which actually looks very pretty because it's black but it's also shiny her sleeves have that uh, black floral lace which I pointed out earlier and I love it. She has two parts of her hair kind of like tied back like that. So I do want to take it out, brush her hair, and then maybe put it back in with little rubber bands. But I tend to choose what dolls I like based on the color combination that they're wearing. And that's the color of their hair, their eyes, and their lips. Those are the three colors that mostly stand out on a doll. And for me, the nude lips, green eyes, and red hair is something that I really, really love in dolls. So when Evangeline came out with this look, I knew I had to have her. I also liked her because she reminded me of Emily Blunt's character in The Devil Wears Prada, which is one of my favorite movies, and Emily Blunt is my favorite actress. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm very, very happy with this doll. I, at first, had told myself that I would only get her if I sold the outfit, and that that would justify the purchase because, as I said, she was expensive. But I'm starting to rethink that because I do love this dress a lot. Maybe I will just let the hat and the shoes go, maybe the vest, just because it's not really a necessary part of her outfit, and then maybe try to pin down her collar and get her some jewelry, some earrings, and fix up her hair. That is it for this look at Evangeline, long ago, far away from 2015 convention, limited to 100 dolls. Gorgeous, gorgeous doll. If you ever get the chance at her, go for it. You will not regret it. She was my grail. I never thought I would get her, but she is here now. So don't give up on your grail dolls. She or he is out there somewhere. Good luck. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.